of course we wanted shah rukh khan to everyone in the comment section why would we possibly not want shah rukh khan after the year that he has had this year yeah you know what i mean but i can explain this i can if you let me i've been itching to write back <laughs> Hello and welcome to a very special episode of FC Popcorn, a film companion original podcast. And today we're going to be breaking down the delights and trauma of the end of year roundtable. Uh, I'm Suchin. I'm Sneha. I'm Rohini. I'm Anupama. Uh, I want to kick off by asking everyone, what's the one thing? Because we passed that ass and worked really hard to put these together, and then we put it out, and then the internet reacts and responds. So, what's the one thing you guys wish people knew about the process of putting together a roundtable? Just that. the process of putting it together cuz i'm the one scoring through all the comments all the time and when i get comments that say why you didn't get so and so why so and so not on round table you tell me like what do you think you think that i didn't obviously approach him or her first so yes the process of putting which i hope maybe we can get into a little bit as we go i think you should also talk about how like you know this is my first round table i've ever done So, oh my god thank you thank you fc for giving me the opportunity it's been a can i say you were amazing thank you thank you so much it's been a dream i never thought i would be able to put together a room of people that i really wanted to talk to and about music which i think is so important and essential to my life so that is very very like thank you for that but i also want to acknowledge that sneha is a force because she is the producer of all our round tables like hum literally as a talent and i think people who you know aspire to do this in the in the future you must know that putting together the round with table who do you want your wish list all of that is okay but you know unless you have the gear unless you have the capability of shooting so many people at the same time it's a whole production like i walked into that set of the round table and i was overwhelmed i said and in a cute way i said ye sab mere liye and you know you know i said oh my god like these are like all of those dreams come true So I think for for people who are like for journalists this is perhaps your most ambitious project of the year and and it puts a certain pressure as well because curating a conversation with so many people also is a different muscle I yeah. think we've not sure. we've matching not matching energy matching energy oh my god uh so we got so many points to talk about I think I'll take it to you Anu uh what is your most exciting sort of uh, part of the round table because well, you've, been, you've been doing it since I don't know how many years now let's start with that No, no. Rajiv Masan started it. Truthfully, the Hollywood Reporter started it. This right. was their format, which Rajiv brought to India, and his early roundtables were just masterful because it was so new, and everybody wanted to be on it. Yeah, you know. So he had like Amir and X and Y and just the most incredible talent sitting together and having conversations. It was so incredible. Our first. big round table i want to say was the so i've always when i was doing the front row on star we always had shows where we would have like four people mm. or five people you know i remember doing a conversation with directors about entering the 100 crore club and that had like raju and kabir khan and somebody and somebody but we didn't look at it as a round table uh it was just like a a theme one theme and then you got five people or four people to talk about it the round tables were so the dna was different it was acknowledging the best work in that year and so our big one was actually um i want to say 2019 was it so i was 11 pm at night <laughs> losing <remembers>. many hair was <laughs> all of it because we thought that we will do we will have something completely different which is we break the gender code we have men and women on the same round table we were panning the round table so we actually did a round table with ranveer dipika alia vijay setupati vijay devarkonda ayushman khurana parvati thiruvottu manoj bajpai yeah that was it right it was unbelievable and it all happened yeah at 11:30 because i think that was the only time ranveer could make it and manoj was driving down from the outskirts from a shoot and we had flown in vijay and vijay correct absolutely the stars aligned like i my moment of every round table is when i just see that frame where you know right before the round table i have seats set up and i have a little a4 with their name on it and then when i actually see bums on seats and i know that they've showed Oof. up that is how i react yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. When they're all there, when they're sitting, because yeah. until then you just have no idea. Yeah, but I was genuinely hats off to Sneha because yeah. I don't know how she does it. Why she does it, but then it all just works out and it's but worth it. And at the end of the shoot, I just need to look at her face and I know that we're going to do it all over again. again. <laughs> but two things, as someone whose the first round table it was, uh, the first thing, of course, well, Sneha, thank you for allowing me to call you, you know, literally one night before saying, Oh my God, I am panicked. Yeah. And I, that I was waiting question. for the call. <laughs> yeah, because she was like, you're damn cool about it. She's like, let's see, this this little chicken is going to at some point turn around and say, oh my God, like spring chicken is going to steal the heat. And I did. And I did call her because she kind of like preempted it. Yeah. And then I remember when she also turned around and uh, told me at one point, I said, now what if tomorrow somebody doesn't show up? You know, after all the confirmations. And I think what she said really helped. She said, now, no? like 12 hours before, you can't do anything. Yeah. So if they don't show up, they don't show up. We still go ahead with it. And that suddenly took a lot of pressure off. Because otherwise you will go in with that pressure. And I think as people forget, as journalists, you're also prepping. You're also doing your questions. Yes. You also want to be, you know, saying the right words. Uh, you can't walk in with that pressure of koi aega, koi late ho jayega. And she took that pressure off. You can't off. have that chaos in your head. I also yeah. think uh, it's their loss. I say this with a lot of arrogance because I'm part FC person and I'm still part FC fan. I'm, you know, the person who like, when you see an Anupama Chopra round table, it's goosebumps. It's, it's sort of like a big cinephile end of year celebration. And I genuinely think it is like, it is a place to really celebrate the best of the best. In a place where we have no awards, we have no credibility. And if somebody doesn't turn up, it's very easy for me to say, but I really think it's their loss because... I still think it's a privilege to be a part of it. And I'm not counting myself on this, but I really do think that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to celebrate talent. So if someone really doesn't want to show up, somebody wants to throw a tantrum, whatever that looks like, it's absolutely your loss. You know? Yeah. Oof. I, I think, you know, the thing is that I'm not sure how many realize it is actually a celebration of the best of the best. You know? And that's, that's exactly what it is. We're applauding you yeah. uh, for doing incredible work. So... I don't know where so much of the uh, of the angst. I don't want to say tantrums, but but you know, increasingly over the years, I think the A-listers have just stepped away from this. Uh, I don't think, frankly, we can do a 2019 anymore. I don't think we can get those people into the same room anymore. And for me, that's a loss, not just for Film Companion and for us who don't have that opportunity, but for them and for. Indian cinema, because where else will you see a conversation where, you know, I to me it was like the goosebumps were like Manoj Bajpai saying to Vijay Setupati that you're incredible. Or Ranveer Singh doing Mumbai Ka Badsha Korn and saying that moment changed my life to Manoj Bajpai. Like, you can't make this stuff up and there's no other place. So I just feel like, and you know, in the West, no matter who you are, I mean, Martin Scorsese sits on round Robert De Niro sits on round table. So no one's too big for a round table. Yeah. And I hope that they see that. They see that. That you that sitting with your peers and having a conversation about what you do is only going to enhance what you do. It's not taking away, you don't become smaller. Like that sweet moment with Bobby and Tilotama. On an actor's round table. It was just the most, I mean, I genuinely, I was, I said. I thought you may make, cry. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to weep because, because Tilotma was like to sit on this, you know, I want to be included. And she talked about how difficult her, her professional life has been. And, you know, she's like, I've never been included. I've never felt included. And now I'm sitting on a, on the same, you know, chair, couch, couch as, as Bobby Deol. And he's like, but I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> and it was just the sweetest thing ever. And then Siddharth wanted to jump onto that couch. Yes. And it was all just really It was like a sweet. love fest, yeah. which you would not have. And unless, unless you know, people were in the same room and they're not in the same room. Yeah. And Vikrant telling Karina how much she has shaped so much of his decisions as well. Just to have those exchange of notes and ideas and love. Yeah is what makes it worth it. I would love to live more in that world where a Bobby Diol and a Tilotma can sit on the same couch, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, and and we can all be in the same I room. am lucky to sit next I'm to you. I'm lucky to sit next to you. I'm glad we sit next to you. <laughs> I love your work. Yeah. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm honored sitting here. With Thank, you. Thank you. No, okay, now you're going to make me cry, everyone. <laughs> no, no. Thinking I want to sit on the couch with both of you. When it's actually happening, it really is that. You know, it really does become, despite 
all the logistics and hassle and egos of getting people there or sort of fighting with PRs and etc. It does become six actors or six directors or six filmmakers, six artists, and it really is everyone on the same platform. It's just the process of getting there. But one thing I've struggled a lot with, I've only done three of these, is just what you mentioned, Anu, about the branding and pos positioning and perception. It really feels like you are now more than ever fighting the brand machinery because for us, I mean, for me, it really is as simple as you're trying to celebrate who you consider the best of the best. And for them, it's always a constant calculation. You know, they're, they're literally trying to be like, what does this do for my client? And it's exhausting the amount of times I've had to explain to people why we do what we do. I've had like, I get multiple calls during and after every round table of people saying, like uh, people who've clearly been shouted at by their bosses to say that, you know, but why weren't we included? And, and like, and then you literally, it's like explaining to like a 10 year old of, no, but for us, it is about the talent. We're not, I don't even know who's rep by who it's not. We're not trying to slice and dice it. Yeah. And you're really, it's like trying to explain credibility to someone and they, they really struggle because for them, it really is about PR and positioning and stuff. And it's just, it's very sad that you have to explain that, you know, they're like, how did you decide, you know, and it's just, no, but actually that's a great point because yeah. uh, as someone who had to first, for the first time decide, who do you want? Uh, the wish list always is, you know, the long list. And from the long list, you make, there are two possibilities. One is who do you have? And the other one is, you know, who will come? So there's can only, get, yeah, yeah, who yeah. can you get, right? Yeah. Uh, and then most often what happens is that people are out of reach. Uh, either they're shooting or they're making music or they're out of the, out of the city. Uh, even if they're out of the city, I guess, with your this year's director's adda, I must put in a word for this year's director's adda. I truly loved it because there were only two people. As did one million people. other people just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's so beautiful because you, you know, we have to be those people, those beacons of change where you say that you are, you're looking at Indian cinema as a whole. And you had only two people who were making Hindi films. Yeah. And out of which one was Karan Johar and the other one was Avinash Arun. A film that we've not even seen, you know, which I think was a brave choice. So I think it would be nice to talk about choices that we make because I remember I, you know, had to choose Sachin Jigar. And to me, choosing Sachin Jigar comes from their, honestly, they're the most underrated like music directors. And I love Preetam. Uh, but Pritam is really hard to get and yeah. Pritam, Pritam is very impossible. unavailable. Yeah. Pritam yes. sir, I don't like this about you. Uh, and if he would have been there, I would have still had Sachin Jigar. Because you have to back the talent you truly feel strongly about. And I feel that they've been part of our soundtracks or... But they don't get that bhav, yeah. you know. They've been top three of my list for the last 10 years. Isn't that good enough to qualify to be there? Uh, so I think taking those calls is so exciting for each of us yeah. uh, because I think you validate and then the audience also maybe the audience will look at it differently. It's every interview you do as well. Yeah. So even as curators, when you're trying so hard to get the best and I know you and I have talked so much about it, you can lose focus because you're suddenly, you're being sent lists from PR saying, why can't you include so and so? Yes. Them entirely forgetting that this is a curated list. This is how you feel about such and jigger. So I know that many a time you just get so, you, you do lose perspective because you're like, oh shit, this name is sexy, but would I have had it in my list? No, because it's also then important to just ask yourself why you're doing this and getting that right mix of people is so important. Like, of course we wanted Shah Rukh Khan to everyone in the comment section. Why would we possibly not want Shah Rukh Khan after the year that he has had this year? Yeah. You know what I mean? But I can't explain this. I can if you let me. I've been itching to write back. <laughs> but it is, I feel like it is like this emotional roller coaster where you go into it very sort of optimistic and you're like idealistic about these are the greatest names I want, directors, actors, etc. Then you go through this insane machinery of logistics, availability, and then at the end, there's times where like, I, I just want to do a round table. Like at this point, I just, you know, yeah. you take anyone who's ever acted for but 10 But can seconds. I say Sneha is my conscience. When I start to lose it, yeah. and when I start to say, oh, what about him? What about yeah, her? Yeah. She's like, oh, no, yeah. no. The one when I'm like, do you want to be a school teacher talking to a classroom? <laughs> you need to stop now. No, but you know what's hard is that in any other situation, you could have solved this problem by putting everybody on a WhatsApp group. <laughs> That's right. But that doesn't happen in this situation because you can't put these big people into one WhatsApp group. And one at change... one point, I wanted to do this. I was like, Tum log baat karo <laughs> well, our dates, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because when you are six people and you're just like, how am I is din kar sakti hoon, lekin do baje se pehle mein is din kar sakti hoon, baje ke baad. And then somebody's the exact opposite of that. And when you change one, you have to change everybody. Oh, Oh my God, at one point I was just like, this is, I had a, I had literally a board yeah. saying these are the dates 
this is when this person is away. I went a little nuts, to be honest. So, no. well, we rescheduled our actors. I think. 48 hours before shoot when I was on a break in Goa on the beach I was calling Anu and and the truth be told on the day of shoot someone actually didn't show but the show does go on and I think I'm very pleased with what we got you have to you have to like Sneha said she's the guru of the round table (laughs) Rajiv may have started it yeah but she's perfected it she has and so she's the voice of reason that you can't do anything now You've done your best, I, you, but you're so right, Suchin. You start out optimistic and enthusiastic you and start slowly... start like a critic, like talent. Exactly. Yeah. What did I love? Yeah. What transported me? What is and then slowly what the machinery it? kind of deflates you. And slowly you get more and more unhappy and then you become this little, uh, you know, golem. I'm just saying like... <laughs> <laughs> just get it done. Yeah. I, by the end of it, I'm just like, I want to cry. And then you actually do it and it's so fab. And then you're like... Yeah, I'm waiting to do this again. That's it. It's like labor pain. So, so me. <laughs> Slavery <laughs> got punishment. She gave me the best analogy ever. It really is like labor pain because yeah. you go into it, you die, and then you come out and you're like, oh shit, round two. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll have another child. <laughs> But on a more hopeful note, I'm guessing we've all had those moments, you know, that whole like never meet your heroes. You know, you put these together, you meet someone and they don't live up to what you hope for. But on the flip side of that, who is the person you guys have had on a round table? who's exactly what you'd hope they'd be. You imagine them to be wonderful and they were exactly that. This was literally my first hosting, of course, the bunch that I've produced, but I really uh, went out on a limb and invited Raghav, given that his film hasn't released Raghav yet. Gia. But I, Jia, yes, and I feel like something very special about Kill and I got to see it when I was at TIFF, so I just felt like he deserved to be there. And he was just that on the round table like he was funny he was insightful he kept it light he helped me match other people's energies which is the greatest gift so yeah for him for me it was Raghav I really enjoyed having him you know for me the the it doesn't have to be this year it could be any yeah but yeah. The, the the constant guest who I love to have there is Karan yeah yeah you know and and people are, are just mean and he laughed too he called and he said I'm getting all these messages you are a get murder how? <laughs> <laughs> Even Karan Jaws ah, messages, okay. YouTube comments. He's like, he's like, it's fine. He's like, no, but people don't understand how generous he is. Yes. He's, he tells a great story. He it's as simple as that. Yeah, but he's also watched other people's films. Yes. When he says he likes Heman's hey Sapta, he means that. It's not coming from, oh, like, I'm this big Bollywood guy. When he talks about you know, Coco, he can get into the details of the scene. And see. each of those actors have reshared that clip on their social, Amrita and Tilotama, because how beautifully he articulated what he Absolutely. was trying to say. So you need the generosity. Yeah. And you need curiosity about other talent, about other artists. It's a round table is not just about you. You, you know, and he gets that completely. And he is that guy who will, who will appreciate other people, who will say you did amazingly well and of course I have to I have to go back to Anil Kapoor who was on our actors round table last year Best. and being the sort of senior statesman of that round table sort of went around appreciating everyone's work and then went to Janvi and said and you in Frozen <laughs> <laughs> and she was like Frozen, Frozen. it was called Millie <laughs> <laughs> so it's just outstanding I tried outstanding. got to say points for trying yeah, thank <laughs> god he was the uncle <laughs> I'll just add something on Karan Johar. This is just as an audience. He always seems to give you what you need. So like yeah. whenever I watch a producer's round table of yours and he's there, I actually learn something from that yes. perspective as a director. Like you, you, you know, whatever sort of, however you slice and dice him, he always gives you exactly what you need for that conversation, which I think yeah. is very Yeah, no, cool. he's fat. My favorite story from this year was him trying to pinch his father because his father was trying to praise him to Mani Ratnam in front of Mani Ratnam. He's when you're shooting Chaya Chaya, he's not even paid the film, but he's like, Mera beta man. <laughs> He met Mani sir at, uh, at the same location of Kuch Kuch Hota. Mani sir was making Dilse and shooting the Chhaiya Chhaiya song, which to me, I was wanting to go as a student to watch. And he kept gushing about me to Mani <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I'm trying to pinch him to say, please, I beg you, I want to, I want to dig a hole and jump into it. Because Mani sir was God to all of us, you know, and, and continues to be. And I, I, I went home and I said, Papa, you can't. My film hasn't released. He says, Nay, if it's your trumpet, if you don't blow it, who else will? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I love what you said, Anu, about, you know, we need to really 
this round table goes such a long way right because we need to build this this camaraderie and i think any industry suffers when there is no unity Absolutely. and this is the beauty of bringing this like here we are in a, in a year where the biggest music launch happened in the south yeah. for a hindi film yes. or like a pan in, pan india film which is animal and there's something there which is that we need to start acknowledging that there are people beyond us who are better than us and who we can learn from and this is that opportunity because i don't see any industry events doing this i mean yeah. honestly the the round table is an industry event it is i mean who knows yeah the two people meet at a round table and then the two of them make a film you know four years this later rohini last year at our filmmakers round table which we shot in chennai because kamal sir i said to kamal sir who of course had had the most fantastic year with vikram i said so we really want you on a round table so where will you shoot i said mumbai oh, like but why and i was like oh my god cultural reset True. full change why and then we flew to chennai and we shot it in chennai and rajamouli came and prithvi raj flew in from kerala and at the end of it uh rajamouli and prithvi raj were talking to each other and he was like you come and something i was like listen if something comes out of this we want credit the <laughs> film companion needs to have opening credit thank you yeah. but can you but that is exactly what makes it exciting that people yeah. from different worlds are in the same room and appreciating each other and even wanting to maybe discover you know like with the directors round table people were like oh i haven't seen that i want to watch that and that's what makes it so much fun but who was your guest who really lit it up oh who oh. lived up to the legend who lit up i mean i was very happy about my room i was just have, happy to have the camaraderie between shilpa and sunidhi oh my god that moment was of oh, gold she said we are because of you like if yeah. sunidhi you hadn't literally paved the way we would not be here and How that lovely. was very very good for How me lovely. because i just said wow uh, to have and these are calls you take like i remember uh, i got a i got a message from someone who i actually know uh, and said how can i not be on the round table this is not pr yeah i i, I did too and it feels themselves. good and bad at the same time and he was like i wasn't on your wish list ha huh? yeah. yeah yeah so then i said you know but my logic to that was that i don't want any soundtrack to be represented by more than one person Mm. because then it will just become too heavy you mm. know so then i had to take a very hard call there and uh, given the fact that you know somebody there had had a fantastic year they deserve to be there but when you get a message like this you kind of like freeze right because then you're putting a at stake like i hope that this relationship doesn't go mm. because all the relationships that you think film companion builds mm -hmm. uh you know with all their people there are even more people who are getting upset that they're not on it So uh and but that also is a positive sign. I see it like that. Mm -hmm. The fact that it matters. It does matter. Is what I want to say. It does matter absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but goosebumps like yeah. I think Sunidhi Chauhan Shilpa Rao same room so fun. Also the whole narrative about women, right? Has always been that two women and especially in the music industry. Uh it's I mean since days gone like they've always like Lata was pitted against Asha and vice versa. So we've never seen two female singers have this sort of love for each other. Shilpa was cheering the loudest when Sunidhi was singing. Yeah. I was told my editor cut to reaction shots cuz this is a moment. Yeah. So that's what you want. Exactly. That's exactly. So nice. Yeah. See the tricky thing for us is of course that we also review cinema. Yeah. And therefore people just also don't want to be people with multiple films in a year. we may have liked one performance but not so much another they will not come but can i ask you are you always because i i've struggled with this in the past are you always rewarding a singular performance that's absolutely the aim or are you ever rewarding a journey that somebody no. has really done i so so it has it can't be a journey without something incredible in that year yes it can't be a journey that you know sort of had its climax the year before and you're calling yes. somebody it has to be a journey that kind of went somewhere in that year like accurately like the crown yeah absolutely. rocky rani rocky, yeah. rocky rani is the greatest example if rocky rani hadn't worked then you could not have had karan on that absolutely table. so yeah yeah no i just absolutely. meant that like if if there's ever a time that sort of someone's had a great year but more because they've been in various very different projects versus like one that can also yeah. happen i yeah. guess yeah Yeah, so Nidhi is an example. Yeah. She's done everything this year. Yeah. She's had her own like, you know, uh, Hindi film soundtrack. She's released her own independent music. She's also st uh, sung for OTT and Jubilee, which is the biggest. And she's gone on tour. So she's got like uh, all of it. 
but singularly each of them like the jubilee soundtrack is the greatest soundtrack of you know this year according to me at least at curating mm-hmm. uh, she did wow everybody with a massive transformation yes but if those were not going to be hits or if those were not going to you know change the fabric of this sort of like whatever we're trying to do here then it would not count then you, just because you're all over the place or just because you're popular it does not count for you being on that round table is my yeah yeah analysis because there's plenty of stuff to reward popularity that's not what we're trying to do absolutely yeah. listen you have stuff to reward the best dress yeah. you have <laughs> stuff to reward the best social media i mean really who needs who one needs more, more of those yeah. Yeah. yeah in terms of more of that on a slightly less hopeful note the other thing that really feels it happened this year maybe last as well is the idea that the round table has become commodified one second you didn't tell us your favorite oh the the no, person no, yes no. uh so i'm lucky that i haven't had too many sort of people who are sl- less than sort of inspiring but i think the person that comes to mind for this year for me is mona sing everyone i had on my round table this year were all wonderful but you, you know when you think of mona sing you just feel nice inside and you meet her and she absolutely lives up to that and she was just so sweet so i'm very very glad um no but i, I want to ask you this year really feels like round tables have become commodified you know it's really become a thing everyone's doing it yeah. um there's a lot of people who are sort of tired of you know too many round tables yeah. um and at the same time you know that it's now part of pr checklist Ma- now more than ever yes. i get calls and messages saying are you doing one round table you yeah. know the messaging sort of my talent various publications at the same time trying to figure out like you know where should we position our talent and it's weird because on the one hand you don't want to do something that's reductive but they, at the same time as a fan i know how i feel when i watch a rajiv masan round table or anupam chopra round table it really is something distinctive and special so yeah. how do you navigate that that you want to do something worthwhile but if everyone's doing it is it less exciting and less sort of valuable yeah and also for the viewer like when you have an overlap of more than 3 people how many of those conversations can you watch in a year it's yeah. a conversation i think we have often we are having a full existential crisis yeah <laughs> you know yeah, but maybe you can make us feel better in the youtube comments tell us if our round tables stand out at all or not <laughs> yeah yes. absolutely absolutely but i feel that you know um how do i say this uh okay let me just say it i feel that intent will trump everything else yeah if your intent is not to have a bunch of famous people sitting in one video uh and your intent is to really showcase the good work and to get a beautiful conversation out it seeps in i think it reaches the audience uh i wouldn't say that oh hum views ke liye nahi karte aise nahi hai uh lekin at the same time i think each of us makes choices and that's your compass right like for each of us our compass is like achin thakkar including achin thakkar was so important for me uh and he's new and some might say he doesn't even deserve to be on a round table yet but i do i really believe that He's we have to there is an rd burman award for new talent and there's a reason for it because music is so important that if you don't reward the guy who's the future uh, you'd never have a rahman yeah and rahman that came because of that and to sort of see him get to meet all of these guys <laughs> And yeah, a round table it yeah. made me feel it was so, so good. cute. It was like all of them came up to him and yes, I could see like how much it meant to him and it, they made him so feel so warm and welcome yes. as did you and it was just beautiful to yes. see that synergy happen. Yeah. yeah. So but the intent, I yes. intent I would say. Yeah. Often like I said you can lose perspective and then you just have to go back to that intent. Like would this person have been on my original wish list? And just because someone else dropped out doesn't mean we use a filler. which is something that i very very strongly feel because the truth is you won't miss that spot if you've got the right people in the room but i do i do worry about um the future of yeah i do worry i i in fact uh, uh, um wonder if the format has played itself out what is the value if there are see in in the west each one of these round tables or actors on actors that variety does these are all ways of finally they all build into the campaign for the oscar yeah. right which is why each one has significance you want to be there you want, we have nothing there is nothing that people talent is working toward that you can't write a check for yeah that you can't write a check for that's the truth and we know this because karan has said this to us on camera that frankly you're one of the few people we can't buy <laughs> you know so in that scenario when you do have five round tables uh you do have to think about like okay then kya fayda 
you know how how but i guess you're right the, the 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 what will differentiate yours is the intent is the amount of work you put into it uh, and and how much you will try and pull together the best of the best you know so like in the directors it was very important for me like literally the the shoot i think was on a monday or a tuesday and i went on that sunday to see geo baby's film Cattle the court because I'd heard so much, yeah. and I was I I I so you know I I ran to the theater. I called him. I said we need to have you in it, and he did come. Yeah. You know, and that for me was so lovely to have him in the room along with all the and other people. Jyotika later, and Jyotika later for the actor. Yeah, those are the ones where you really feel like you're you're moving the needle. You know, you're really doing something. Exactly. Yeah. So you just have to feel like what you're doing is moving the needle in some way. Yeah. But but. Are we stressed? Yeah, we're really. And stressed. the truth is that it's also important to sort of say that yeah, we can't be bought. And the truth is that these are expensive to produce. They're very expensive. Yes, yeah. and now without getting into the details of the logistics, it does take a lot to get a Vetri Maran and a Karan Johar and uh, you know Karthik and everyone else into a room. Uh, and therefore, we do need people to watch it to sort of justify the cost and. The effort that goes. But speaking it. of that, that's another gripe I have with YouTube comments, which I understand. It's people being very passionate, but people always end up pitching us round tables. You know, why don't you do an editors? Why don't you do cinematography? I, I got, my favorite recently was why don't you do a spot boys round table? And I, I think that was sincere. Also, I don't think it was. A, I don't know. Yeah, it with YouTube. But the thing <laughs> is, that, okay, let's assume for the sincere ones. It's it's a wonderful thought. I remember Anu when I joined FC, I was pitching. I think I pitched a critics round table to you because I'd love to watch that. But then you said like, rightly so. It 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 takes an army to put these together. And, and so, a lot of money. Yeah, and we'd yes. love to do it, but then we need people to watch it. You know, that's yeah. why you stick to actors yeah. and directors and things like that because that's where you know we can celebrate that, and we know that people touch wood will watch it. Yeah, it's all important to say that uh, Amazon, for the first time, actually presented our music roundtable, and it's a delight to work with a brand that has zero editorial. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Interference. Interference. Yeah. yeah, they literally signed off on your absolute wish list. In fact, they yes. went as far as to say that we'd be happy to try and get you some of the names uh, that you want as well. So Amazon, I think, was a, a, a great find for us. Yeah, and that doesn't happen often. Yeah, but I'm and also it was a it it fits right because we fits. took the Amazon data music. from their streaming charts, and I think that those organic fits is what you're looking for, yeah. and uh, they're backing again. The idea of the core idea doesn't change at all. They are here saying that we want to do exactly what you want to do, and that works because that's a marriage made in heaven. If somebody came in and said, you know what, this is our list, you do this chant for us because you know you do it well, uh, then that's a bit hard because I see that happening now as well because there are brands who go to people who can do this well and say that sir, हमारे एक्टर से बात करो and sir, हमारे एक्टर से बात करो उस यूनिवर्स में ठीक है Yeah, star con hai, and I'm sure they'll pull the weight of people, and I'm sure any conversation with six people will be fun. Uh, but I think again, when you go back to true representation, and that to me is what we're all trying to do, and that's a rare thing. So we have to we have to stick to that, and no matter what, yeah, like it doesn't matter how. Like there has to be an example here. Uh, what could be my example? Mm. Like jitne saaye jaye toppings aa jaye pizza par, but you know there's margarita, margarita rare. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no man, worst example ever. Like I don't know. I have just just one last question. Uh, in terms of wanting to do this again, in terms of after you finish that round table, you really want to go again because it's all touch wood been worth it. Was there a specific memory from your round tables this year? A specific moment which made you feel I'm ready to have another kid again. I want to do this all over again, and it's all worth it. Of course. Of course, just to see. Uh, there was a moment where Shilpa Rao panned Amitabh Bhattacharya for a bad lyric he wrote once, yeah. and it was so joyous to see that she was able to call that lyric out, and he said the lyric also, and they had a collective laugh. And these are things about process that never come out. Like you would never know unless see the the lyricists themselves, and this is. Round table versus isolation interviews, right? Where you talk just to one person. I think we are all built to tell the story. We've already said set in our head, but it takes someone else to come in and say, "Remember, you did this," and then he's like, "Oh my God, yeah," and you hated it. <laughs> and I remember saying to them, "I said, uh, it's great that you can say this to him, you know, not only you know off camera, but even on camera, because that camaraderie." Now you turn around and look at the work that they've done together. This. Jody or like you know whoever they work with as teams, 
uh, wow, like this is why it works. So yeah. then it also, in a sense, chronicling history, I feel, because when that happened, the first thing I thought was that six, seven years ago, Anu had done a piece with a bunch of female singers and the conversation was very different then. They were struggling with why is there no female Arijit? Why do our songs not have uh, enough heft? But to see her be able to sit over there and then she said even that I can say this to even such an jigar for that matter. So it also shows yeah. the evolution of the female that's singer. That's exactly it. It captures the that time. moment in time. Yes, absolutely. It's a it's a piece of history without yeah. trying to make ourselves sound too grandiose. Yes, it yeah. But it is. Yeah. It so is. you can go back when I go back to the round tables that Rajiv has done yeah. or the 2019 one that we done, <clears throat> we are done. You know, I look at the conversations, I, I look at the, that whole interaction between Parvati and Vijay Devarkonda yes. about Kabir's Legend, yes. You know, and you need that. Those are, it's a record of the film industry at a place and a time. And those artists at a place and time. Absolutely. Yeah. And it makes it so important. But but for me, of course, it was the Bobby and Tilotama moment. But in the director's round table, there was this one moment where Vetri Manan was explaining this single shot that opens with yes. Italai. Okay, and it's... Um, nine minutes, ten minutes, something like that. Like it's an ins and it was a crazy shot that took months and months to put together and stage. And he was explaining this, and and Konkana was just like her jaw was dropping, and she was like, "Oh my god!" Then she said, "It's like it's a, a master class." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, so lovely. Yeah, it was just so lovely because she was expressing what all of us felt. And it was just so fantastic. Oh, like Karan talking about Vetri Manan's producer and saying he's a saint. <laughs> he's yes. a priest. Yeah. He's a saint. Yeah. I worship him. <laughs> he sounds I like a that. being that doesn't exist, you know, in some sort of sort of shady presence. But I mean, what about for you? Uh, I I've got a couple of them in my head. For me, it, it beyond all the calculations and sort of the dealing with PR and stuff. When you can actually have an actor there that you really feel has touched you, performance has really affected you. And someone you feel that I don't think anyone else would have this person. You know, it it really feels like that's when we really earn our bread and butter, the value we have. So the names I think of are um, like when I had Ahmed Bashir earlier this year for School of Lies, which is, I think, the best show of the year. And so much fine acting on that show that nobody else is talking about. Or even now when you have like an Arjun Mathur or a Gagan Devriya for Scam, where I just feel like these are such fine performances that others are not championing. Yeah. And I mean, I wish they were. I wish we weren't the exception, but we really are. And that's when you feel that, no, we are moving the needle. We are really putting talent under the spotlight in a way that... Listen, I'm Gulshan thinking. referring to Adarsh's performance in Guns and Gulab as a Pink Floyd album. Yeah. You don't get it until you sort of yeah. go through the whole album, which I think was yeah, amazing. Was but I don't want to take a moment and say people I didn't get, <laughs> which I'm very sad about. <laughs> A.P. Dillon, okay, Arijit Singh, okay, Preetam. Um, uh Anirudh. This is a separate round table by itself. I'd watch the hell out of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I really... Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> but really, to be fair, though, these are impossible guests. Yeah. Why? 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 Because why? They, when you're celebrating the best of the best, Pritha, they deserve Pritha, Pritha, to be impossible. Pritha, I went for a recording. He doesn't even <laughs> come for his own. You know, like, like, I remember the one time I managed to pin him down. It took some seven months of just chasing. And then finally, me and Moni drove to his house. Yeah. In the middle of torrential rain, and we didn't know whether we'd ever make it out of Pritham's house because it was one of those July deluge situations. But it's these are just difficult people to put in a room. So please, it was it's it has nothing. This is the other thing we must mention that at some point I've done this for thirty years, and still at some point the round table becomes a marker of what is my value. Yeah. Oof. Okay, it does. It does. You wake up in the morning and you say, you know what? They don't give a shit. Yeah. They don't care. Like, I've done this for fucking 30 years and they don't care if they can, you know, that's it. Yeah. And you can't get there. Yeah. You cannot get there. You, okay. Because it cannot be, ki this means I'm popular or I'm good or what I do have. respect karo. Who do respect karo or that I'm worthy. Or the other is, tell me who the final list is and then I'll yeah. decide. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing gets my goat more than that. And we have got a bunch of that. Everybody yeah. wants but to be I the last everybody. one. Everybody wants <laughs> yes. to be the last one. I literally feel like it's a bunch of school children. And like I'll say it selfishly in my world, I really don't feel like a lot of these are the biggest names necessarily. And I'm, I'm, you know, I just want to celebrate the talent. But everybody wants to be the last one to confirm because it yes. literally is like, pick me first. 
And you can always see it. Some people early on in their career, for them, the round table is a holy grail. Yeah. After a point, they think that they become too big for it. Absolutely. It's like some people think that beyond the platform, in some cases, it's delusional. In other cases, it's understandable. You know, Shah Rukh Khan doesn't want to do a round table. You know, like, fair enough. Yeah. But there are others who think that, yeah, you know. I've... We'll only forgive him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my God, just a Shah Rukh Khan round in any round table. He like... is the round table. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, so really, what he I wanted to say sense. is that you should not feel that them not coming had anything to do with you is what I'm trying to say it doesn't you know what I'm saying because that is when you get into that black hole of oh my god very black hole it is gets it black is, yeah. now as the day yeah. and I get into it despite everything and with yeah. full arrogance I maintain even though I don't deal with big stars I fully maintain it's their loss for that big star who was very good in X film who the hell else is at the end of the year really looking to celebrate their craft to break down that character rather than airport looks and, you know, the fluffy rubbish. And nobody else is. And if you don't want to, it's absolutely your loss. Yeah. I try to imbibe that, but it doesn't always work. <laughs> I go in with full arrogance. Again, not for mine, but for like everyone else's. I'm just like, I still think, you know, for me, Film Companion matters a lot. And I say that as a fan. So if they don't want to be a part of it, well, you know, good luck with your next airport selfie. But we'll still try next year. I know. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. We're just masochists. We're here for the pain. <laughs> I, I, I sign off on life in December. Like, I literally, my husband knows start of December, one signs off on life. Yeah. Can because I just tell you what my husband said when this A-list actor dropped out like one night before and he's like, I'm going to phone. Karo? <laughs> I was like, no. Cute. So I was like, don't do it. We'll be okay. <laughs> and we were okay. We were okay. We were okay. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean that's what it is, right? It's it's like going to war, and then sometimes you you come out like with little with little wounded, and sometimes you come, but you come off triumphant. I mean, no matter what, you just have the yeah, you have it's, the scars and all of that, but you come off triumphant, and you have a baby cute. that you're just very very in proud love of. with and yeah. proud of. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly that. It's all good. It's all good. And if YouTube agrees, nothing like it, then you know that it was worth every second. Mostly every second. Oh. Some of the seconds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there was a time when Sujin and I were sending daily virtual hugs to each other because we were both in the process yes. of lining it up at the same time. And every single day we were like, okay, here's your hug. We can get through this. Because you assemble people, the people drop off, then you reassemble people. And you're like, how oh my go? god, like it's just uh, don't. Yeah. I mean, I had first time of my life, so you I was just like, come on, I was texting for you, Sujin, and I was like trying to get an actor on your round table. They don't even respond. <laughs> I'm like, to Anupama Chopra, like, just I, saying, it's not about me. imagine just, us. No, let's be real. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, what does yeah. it take yeah. to say this no. is not for me? Thank you. No, but I have worse than that. I've, I've in multiple round tables for about six weeks, I have X actor stringing me along oh. where and, and because you don't and because like if it's a no I understand fair enough I'll pivot to someone else the other thing that's really annoying is when PR messages you we're saying I represent X actor X star and you know are you doing a round table this year and you're like you know what that person's actually somebody I was considering so great and then they have no access to this actor or it's <laughs> but I'm like you you messaged me I didn't reach out to you what and, and they will literally scam. say literally, that's a big scam and, and then they're like <laughs> And at that point, I'm like, I'm. This is. I'm on a reality show. This is. This is. This is exactly. This is. Getting played. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, did I? Did oh I hurt you some way? <laughs> oh Why? my God! You know, next year this could be a show. <laughs> like, we should do a show. Like, which of them are actually four people yeah. trying to do a round table each, and we'll put scoreboards, and then we'll follow us with cameras, yeah. and we'll just put them on, and then the the eventual prize is the number of views. Yeah. No, Game but fired. Game fired. Speaking of, I think. For me, the biggest win was to be able to have four people at Film Companion do a roundtable each and have so much fun doing it. For me, as a producer, this I messaged you and told you that as well. It's just great that you got to do what you do best. You are the streaming genius on the channel. I got to do my roundtable and of course we have her to learn from. It was just the best. It was fab. And not to mention FC South, which has of done course. its own, own. Yeah. Malayalam Telugu. Telugu. Yeah. And so much. Fun. I think that was our first ever Telugu round table, right? I yeah. believe. I think done amazing. Yes. 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 No, no. Yes. It's what we do. The Avengers of film journalism. We go forth into war. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and child birth. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm so glad we could do this. Uh, partly because of therapy, but partly just because, uh, no, I'm glad we could celebrate everything over the last few months because I'm very proud of, of all the round tables. And then Yay. Uh, you Thank you, Sachin.
Merry Christmas. Yeah. And after this, let's start planning next year's roundtable. Absolutely. Yeah. I was just going to say, camera I, off, then I'll tell you. I feel like this was already it. This was our pitch to actors, to audiences, to everyone. That's true. That we're yeah. back. We're going to be back, guys. And uh, what you thought of our roundtables? Tell us in the comments because yes. I know I'm always reading and it's amazing to hear back. Spot Boy Roundtable is on my list next year. Uh, also, writers, we are listening. And I assure you that we would be the first ones to do it if we knew that you'd be watching so, writers round table very much so yeah yeah oh yes, yes. Mm. and for those who do come diligently come ahead of time for our premieres honestly thank you so much it's really because of you guys that point we get stylists round table <laughs> yeah now okay bye bye yeah guys bye, bye. Guys. <laughs> <laughs>